In this video, I will be showing you how to add line breaks, spacing and comments in your HTML code. All right. So I'll come back to my Atom and let's say we want some space between this section, the H1 and the paragraph, like to the browser. Let's say we want extra spaces between this welcome to my website and this paragraph. So if we want that space, I'll come back to Atom. If I come here and I just give random spaces here and I save it, uh, going to the browser, I'm expecting to have like three spaces before the paragraph. But after saving it, I'll go back to my browser. I will refresh and you see nothing happens. So HTML doesn't recognize the space as anything. In fact, there is a there is an element to indicate space on a particular line and that element is called line breaks. So remember I told you in HTML, you need to master the use of elements. There are elements for everything. And if I put BR and press enter, this is the element for line break. And this is an empty element because it doesn't have the closing tag like slash BR. So if I put this BR and I save it, when I go to my browser now and I refresh, you can see I have one space here. I'll come back to the code. I will put another brick. So now I have two bricks here. Control S. In fact, let me add another one. So I have three line bricks. I'll just save it. And when I come to my browser and refresh, you can see I have three spaces here with the default space I had already. So that's how you add a line brick in your HTML code. Now, the next thing would be to add comments. And to add comments, comments are just private notes. You, you want notes on your code, but don't want them to appear on the website. So they are just private notes you add on your code. Okay. So if I want to add a comment after the body, I will just come here, click enter. And I want to add a comment for this H1 just to indicate something, but I don't want it to appear on the website to do that in Atom just press control forward slash and then you can see atom just brings this syntax for a comment for you and all you need to do is just to come here and now put in your comment now if you're not using atom you are using another text editor you can just type this manually just type this um, less than sign this angle bracket exclamation mark this two dash here and then you can now put your comment and then close it from this side but in atom you just need to press ctrl and then press the forward slash on your keyboard and it just brings up the comment for you so here i can just write a comment like this is a big heading because this is h1 and then i will save it ctrl s and when i come to my browser and i refresh you can see nothing displays here but for me, when I open my code, I can know that the, there is a comment for a particular thing in my code. So that is how you add comments in your HTML code. Now, the last thing here is to add extra space within our words. So for example, this is a web page I want to create. After this web page, I'll just give some extra spaces here and I'll save it. And when I go to my browser and I refresh, you can see we still have just one space here because HTML doesn't recognize the extra spaces. And in fact, there is a code to get this extra spaces. And I'm just going to be closing this up. And then to create a space on in between words, I'll just give space and I'll put the ampersand sign and then I'll write NBSP semicolon and i'll save it and this code just gives me one extra space so i can copy this and in fact let me first go to the browser now watch here if i refresh we have an additional space here that means we have two spaces here right now if i still go back to my code i'll just come and paste it here i want to have five spaces this is three four and five plus the default space we have here so that's six all together 
and now when i save this and go back to my browser and i refresh it you can see we have some spaces here so this is the code for adding spaces and if you want to master html just know how to use elements and all these codes once you know this and you can identify them it's very easy to use them anytime you want to achieve a particular thing all right so this is it for this video i will see you in the next video